Okay, hi, I'm Diggin, and this is the vibe. What I want to talk about is something that happened in 2009 and 2010. And um, now that um, we are in uh, 2018, which is really kind of freaky, um, uh, I, like everybody else, is, is, is freaked out, maybe for different reasons. I feel overwhelmed, like everybody else, maybe for different reasons. Um, and just all around have been sitting on the fact that, you know, um, this being in a book would be a whole lot easier you know, you, you maybe put your picture on the back of the book and, and that's okay. But this is like face to face here. So I know how crazy and outlandish uh, this sounds. But um, like I said in other videos, I was born a seer and uh, with as well as with other gifts. And... Uh, through the process of my life, um, it's been gift after gift after gift. And I have to look at things that scare me or break my heart or make me sad as gifts as well. Even though during the time frame, it doesn't feel like a gift. It doesn't feel like a gift at all. I mean, <laughs> okay, so 2009, 2010. I was walking into my living room and as um, I had taken, oh, I don't know, just a couple of steps uh, into my living room and um, to my right I have these long gated uh, uh, windows and I was, um, and I live uh, really out in the middle of nowhere. I was looking outside for a moment. It was just so beautiful, and it just, it just the scenery caught 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 my attention. And I was doing something mundane, dusting, or I wasn't sweeping, maybe laundry. When all of a sudden, um, I I I I went to turn around. And I was going to head to the other s side of the living room um, to turn on some tunes. And all of a sudden, as I took one of the steps, I was no longer in my living room. And I had literally stepped into what we would call a twilight zone. <laughs> and I really mean that. Now, I, I know that I said I was going to share everything that I dreamt of because um, I, I recognized years ago um, it wasn't a dream. And I said I would share everything here because it's all really super important. Um, okay, and, you know, and some of you might take it and some of you might leave it and some of you might go, hmm, okay. And um, I've been learning a whole lot of new uh, phrases, um, and one of them would be fear-mongering. No, I'm not fear-mongering. I'm just going to tell you the truth about everything. Um, okay, so 2009, 2010. I, I went to turn around, and, uh, and I thought, hey, I'm going to put on uh, uh, so, some music. And so as I turned around, I, you know, and I started to walk toward the other side of the living room, um, like I said, I took a step and, uh, you know, the other step that was going to follow through, um, I, I was all of a sudden in the twilight zone. I was in our solar system. And um, as you can imagine, you, you know, the first thing you do is freak. Like you, 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 you lose your breath and you're like, whoa, like, you know, where the hell am I? Uh, um, okay, what's this? Now, even though this has happened for all of my life, 
it still freaks you out. <laughs> Trust me, there's no warning. There's, you know, nothing that, that, that gives you any sign of indication that all of a sudden you're going to be somewhere else like that. So, <clears throat> okay. And uh, I was freaked out, like I said, and I thought, okay, go with it. You know, that's the one thing that I learned, go with it. And um, as I was looking, I, I, I was seeing all these planets and they were moving and, you know, call me twisted, but it ended up that I felt like I was surfing on the world. <laughs> And um, I know, yeah, it sounds crazy. Um, uh, and and uh, we were moving in one direction, and these planets were moving, were, were coming, you know, toward me. And, you know, I started to, to freak as, you know, so was I that seemed to be sitting on top of the world moving toward planets, were the planets moving toward me, and the first thing I thought was collision. <laughs> you know, what, what, what am I being shown here? Like, why am I all of a sudden, you, you know, up in the heavens, and, and, and what the heck? So, mm, I thought, okay, go with it, you know? like everything else it's always for a reason and so I thought to myself okay go with it and I continued to experience the movement of these planets but like I said we were we were bypassing each other and, you know, I was looking this way and going, whoa, and looking that way and going, whoa, you, you, you know, looking behind me, looking in front of me. And then I started to, 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 to chuckle. You know, I thought, what a trip. Don't even need drugs. Take a look at this. <laughs> you know, so, um, uh, okay. I thought, okay, and I remember asking questions, and uh, one of the first things that I had asked would be the, the obvious, and that is, is this a collision? You know, am I going to experience a colliding of, of, of planets? I didn't understand uh, the purpose until um, somebody started to talk to me and um, um, they were telling me that this was going to be a fearful issue uh, for people on the earth. And um, I was to be able I was to be able to tell them that uh, in no way, shape or form, are we going to collide now? Some get awfully close, from what I remember. You know, I was going whoa, <laughs> um, and I and I, I I felt all these different kinds of of emotions because I'm still, you know, uh, and forever probably till I cross over. Even um, I, I'm still, you know, coddling myself and 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 going wow. E so I went oh okay and um, uh, um, so I was being told all this information pertaining to um, all these planets and um, I grew to understand um, and I was I was I was given in, in detail the energy of each planet and uh, what their purpose and the fact that um, uh, they gave me they gave me the understanding that no there wasn't going to be a collision um, so if this I, you know was I to present this or was this going to be in the news was it going to be an issue um, where I didn't have to tell everybody, but everybody uh, was told, or or you know through media, I would think through science, I would think um, they were going to be told this, 
and um, I could ease people's hearts and ease their mind um, by having the knowledge uh, ahead of time that uh, there was going to be no collision. And so, I don't know how long it took. I don't know if it was seconds, minutes. Um, it couldn't have taken an hour. I know that for a fact. <laughs> and, um, uh, <laughs> and how I know that is, um, like I was saying, I don't know how long it, it, it lasted. Um, boom. I was right back in my living room, standing there, trying to um, um, gain control of my equilibrium. And I just called, um, uh, uh, I, I yelled out, um, partner was in uh, the entrance, and I was like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, you'll never believe what just happened to me. You'll never believe what just happened to me. And of course, you know, I'm on the ceiling and, you know, needing to come down. And so I, I was like, oh my goodness. And then I just rambled on as I'm rambling on right now. And I was talking really fast and, you know, I had to really, you know, I was told to slow down a little bit. And, um... I just went, wow, is, is, is this going to happen? You know, like, pff, why would I be given this? And, um, you know, you know, people chalk things up to the weirdest things. And so I just kind of went, yeah, okay, I, 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 I'm not going to dwell on this. I will wait until it surfaces, the situation surfaces, and and then uh, I somehow will let as many people know as I as I possibly can. I mean, I was given that experience, and it couldn't have just been for me, or could it? But it doesn't make sense. God knows my heart, my personality, and my spirit. <clears throat> And I wouldn't keep something like that. I'm not a selfish individual, not by any means. And and I totally see the importance in in that experience as whoa well, as it was. So okay, you know, and and you know, so you know, I shared shared everything, and I just thought, okay, y y y you know. Um, there'll come a time where, and I, I accepted that, and not a problem. Well, I don't know how long after the fact <laughs> I was at my stereo, and, and this was, like I said, I don't know how much time had passed. It was not the same day, not by any means. You know, could it have been, uh, I think it was a week or two. To be honest, I mean, you know, recollecting, and I was, you know, just two steps away from my system, and I, I really love my music, um, and I, I have, I, I, I have um, the home where I could just, I live out in the middle of nowhere, so I could just crank it, and um, nobody hears me but the bears or the birds or. Um, the moose or the caribou or the whole, you know we got wild horses and wolverines and you, you know rabbits and and just everything out there i even have a pet weasel but <laughs> anyway that's another story uh wild um called it uh willie because i figured wilhelmina william Willie, that's a good name. That's good <laughs> for both. Anyway, um, uh, so I befriended this this weasel. Uh, so anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, it must, you know, it, you know, recollecting. I think it was a couple of weeks. And so as I, I as I extended my 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 arm to uh, turn on the music or I had just turned on the music, my arm was still extended, um, I turned just 
just slightly or or my body just moved enough that I was going to turn myself around and all of a sudden again boom I was taking took a step in a certain direction and by the by the time the second step was to follow suit I again was in the situation uh, pertaining to these planets. Now this time around rather than being in the same system on the same level as these planets I was looking at it um, from a distance and I was also looking at it as if I was at a distance up looking down and I thought well wow, okay uh, I just saw this like why would it be giving this you know to me again and and um, why was I not in with the planets that I was it, it appeared that I was on the outside looking in all of a suddenly all of a suddenly I was being shown the orbits <laughs> and I thought orbits why am I looking at the orbits and uh, I did when I you, you know when I snapped back in I did quickly um, you know grab paper and pen and and start writing a thing down and and the orbits and um, as I questioned the importance because it felt different it felt really different um, again somebody started to talk to me and said um, this is a system that comes through every um, so many years um, and then they showed me like I said the orbits they were showing me the time and, and I mean time and space um, as well as the elements um, um, which which you know would be hot and cold I saw them literally as elements uh, and so I'm learning I'm listening I'm learning and then I hear the angel guide uh, ancient say to me humans no longer believe of their existence and I thought what whose existence and uh, you know did, you know did I think it did I did I blurt it out what 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 I do know it, it, it was more said to myself you know it was rhetorical rather than um, it you know my questioning um, my teacher um, that was telling me about about this and about man and then you know I mean I was literally brought through history as if we were reading a history book and you know it is if pages were turning and um, he had shown me that it was you know the time is so long that mankind um, um, well I mean think I mean <sighs> we're talking thousands of years right so you know outside of them having all these years there's nobody here that lives that long and um, I was being ex explained that uh, uh, mankind no longer um, believed um, of this civilization and there was still some things you know, we could still track hi uh, history through uh, facts documents um, whether they be you know clay form cuneiform you know parchment today's paper you know now technology you, you know there was there was uh, 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 knowledge that was readily available if you knew where to look and and what you were looking for and so I was intrigued at that point and I went wow like really and um, again, I was uh, told because 
um, even though there was a historical record, you know, uh, through through time, um, it was it it it, it was so. Uh, I can't. You know, English isn't coming to me right now. It was so. Um, hmm. It was so out there, I guess, you know, that that the historical facts were no longer taught, nor, nor you know, were they present un, until or by chance. And until, it, you know, is, is people putting out that knowledge, writing books, and, and, you know, through technology, we were able to share a, a lot of uh, knowledge and information and communication and and through this avenue here it, it changed everything and and so I was like well uh, okay I'm listening I'm paying attention and then I asked um, or he heard me think uh, why was I to know about this okay I understand the importance I understand the history I was told you know why and how I was explained that men of renown everything was was true not you know what we look at as possible fantasy myths or fabrication um, is actually true and um, there is some governments um, um, and, and people in that have known the truth all along. So I was like, oh, okay, okay. Um, so, you know, what did we learn from these people? And then I was told about all the establishing, you know, where, where we were talking about uh, courts and, and documentation, period, documenting. Um, um, and and uh, you know they brought they brought a great deal up 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 to plate up to bat, and so you know as I as I was learning and I thought wow okay you know but there again I I was understanding that um, you know there was still something I I wasn't able to put two and two together and so. Um, I was made to understand that, look, now is the time people do no longer believe it's not a fabrication, um, it is history, our history, and uh, if we knew where to look and we looked for it, we would find it. And I thought, okay, cool. And so um, I understood, you know, like the planets, because it's it's associated with that um, like the planets there was going to be a time <clears throat> and I do remember turning myself back around okay and headed toward um, um, uh, the other side of the living room and um, I was told like I was stopped like wait you're not completely understanding and I said which I thought was really kind of neat because I had already snapped back into my reality like I said turned around and I was heading back to the other side of the living room um, I heard his voice clear as day uh, wait you don't completely understand the information that I just gave you and I said uh, what did I miss and he said their return their return he says it's up and coming their return I said they're going to return like like here like I'm gonna be alive like during this time frame you know they're coming here and he said yes and before I could ask anything else, that was it. And I knew, I, you know, I took another step. I took a, another step after that. And no, I was back in my living room. And again, I don't know how long this took. And I went, 
Oh my goodness, whoa, 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 whoa. And unlike the first time um, where I was like, la, 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 I was uh, concerned. And I walked back in, into um, uh, my, my office is in the front room and, and uh, I walked back into uh, the office and I just went, hey, you know, I saw this again and uh, um, this is for real. It's not a one-time thing and this time around uh, this is what I was shown and this is what I was told but it really made me nervous when he said wait you didn't completely understand the information I was conveying to you and that I was told um, of their return in the here and in the now our, our time <laughs> And I said, okay, we have to get on the internet and we have to take a look because it's already here. And I knew it was already here. I could feel that it was already here. I just, you know, I, you know, drawing from everything. And so, uh, well and behold, um, here we go. We came and um, uh, we found, uh, whether you want to call it Planet X or you want to call it Nibiru, you know, the planet of the crossing, which it, which it is. Uh, um, I, I've heard a lot of people bag stitching, um, but I'll tell you something. Outside of one or two things, um, he had it all right. I mean, so much so that... Uh, um, uh, like, like I, I, I said in, in one of my other videos, uh, my middle child said, uh, you really need to read this. And, y you know, I realized that you never lied to us. Like, you, you know, we were thinking, you know, stories. And, he, and all the while, he, I came across this author and... You know, everything you've ever told us is in this book. And so, uh, I, I really do have to say, hey, listen, the, you know, he really did have his information all together as out there as it seems. Like I said, there's one or two things, you know, um, and, and I say that because I'm always popping in and out of time in my journeys, um, which... Uh, it's been really interesting for a lack of being able to describe it. I would say a uh, really Rod Sterling kind of thing, you know? Uh, Lost in Space, Twilight Zone. Um, uh, so, so anyway, um, Planet X, Mystery Planet, uh, uh, Nibiru, um, uh, Nostradamus's Comet, uh, and I was like, okay, here, wait a minute. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. And the more I read, the more I understood. And the more I read, the more uh, all that I had been given and all that I had seen was uh, uh, crystal clear. It just, you know, it just opened up this 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 channel and everything flooded in um a lot of them also being memory that uh for whatever reason um you know we 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 keep it and sometimes we bring it out and sometimes we don't so uh when i got the validation i went oh okay so this is like sooner than sooner sooner than later and I thought, hmm, okay, 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 I, I, I can do this. You know, it's not any stranger than oh, everything I've been told and shown. I mean, it's no stranger than my experience. And so I thought, okay, um, uh, I dug and dug and dug. And of course, y y you know, you, y you spend hours and days and, you know, learning, investigating here, there, and and conveying and comparing everything to you know notes to to what was given to me and what I had attained and um, I was like wow this is really huge like really huge so again 
I put it, you know, I, I put it in a safe place with, with the first experience until it happened again. The third experience, and they say it comes in threes. And uh, uh, I'm collecting um, art and really old pieces. I'm really lucky that way. And I've got uh, this super old plate uh, uh, brass from Peru, um, and it was all handmade, all banged out, and just absolutely beautiful. And uh, I, I I went to touch it. It was on my wall, and um, I wanted to dust it. Um, so I, I take it off the wall, and and uh, I'm holding on to it, and with this plate still in hand, all of a sudden, bang! Now, I I wasn't so much at a specific place as much as and I could see you know my dimension I was kind of in a middle in a middle of that dimension and this dimension and I was like whoa okay and I looked around and to my left um, I kept seeing ships uh, space ships and I thought, okay, what's what's this about? And without my taking in too much more knowledge or, or information, um, the angel stepped in again, but this time um, in the very beginning of things. And I was like, oh, wow, wow, okay, so this time around, you, you know, he's going to be, you, you know, dictating what is what, who is who, uh, what it was about, why, so on and so forth. And uh, I was earnest to hear. I was earnest to learn. And he told me that there was going to be two different bouts of, of, um, of species, two different... Uh, um, people from other worlds that were going to come here and one of them uh, was like I said um, the, the Sumerians or the uh, from Nibiru um, Anunnaki yeah that's what they are the Anak they were going to return and um and prior to their return, there was going to be another. Now, this other, okay, it wasn't good. It really wasn't good. It wasn't good at all. Like, zero, okay? Like, zero. And I was like, whoa, like, I was really turned off like I'm thinking you're ugly you're mean you're cruel like like what the hell and WT D WTF <laughs> you know like whoa like whoa and then I looked you, you know uh, at humans and um, uh, everybody was in groups you know, like maybe groups of 50. Nobody was separated. And women, uh, um, I didn't see all the children so much so, but men and women, you know, so they hadn't segregated them. They hadn't separated them. Um, uh, but I saw them like in, in groups and they, they wanted to turn us into slaves. Like actual physical slaves and I thought well that really ain't too cool why am I seeing this like this is really lousy and I remember how people I mean I remember feeling how people were feeling because what it, what had happened when I was looking at the humans mankind I was able to go in a midst in among them amongst them and I would feel other people's feelings and I was just heavy 
like sad, heartbroken. And I was like, wait a minute, I got angry. I wanted to retaliate at these, you know, commanders or, or field operators or people from hell, you, you know? Uh, and uh, the angel said, uh, no. And I said, why are, why are they complicit? Why are we being complicit? You know, like, why isn't that we're not uprising? and uh, uh, fighting for our rights and our species. I mean, we live here. I don't care about the politics. We were here all this time. And uh, whether we were squatters or not, we now have claim, as well as whomever. We're not going around going, hey, you know what? This is our earth, piss off, F off. You, you, you know, we don't bug anybody for the most part, even though we're not kind to one another. Mankind picks on mankind. Okay, so I was like, wow, you know, men were afraid of dying. And uh, like I said, uh, it was the feeling. And I just could not understand why mankind, you know, why there wasn't an uprising. I just couldn't understand that. And so I was really, you know, really upset and really downtrodden you know because I was still in between dimensions and and I am grateful for what I was shown and and you know but at the same time when you see this happening your heart breaks I'm a human being and to see that you know I, I couldn't justify that no way no how and so I ended up saying hey like it, it, it is this it like like what are you telling me you know these these you know are, are coming here and um uh, so they figure oh sure let's just turn them into you know let's treat them like dogs or monkeys um they are inferior to us um um and they laughed and scoffed by how primitive uh we were that um you know, which they really did not know that we had the elite. You know, the you know the, the different uh, um, um, uh, aristocrats and different you know from from poor to to. So we have all these different levels on Earth, but on an overall, they still saw things extremely primitive, and that was because uh, we weren't evil, we weren't cruel. Um, it wasn't, you know, we aren't, uh, I mean, some are, me, 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 us, 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 um, and, you know, want to kill each other. I mean, there's, still, there's, you know, people out there that unfortunately, you know, want to see some of the world blow up, but like I said, it's, 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 it's people on people. And so I just went, yeah, you know what, this can't do. This really can't do. And actually, I just got a flash. Uh, um, yeah, the children are there as well. But children are with children. And uh, so I just went, you know what, like, I, I, I'm devastated by what you just showed me. I, I, I mean, you're, you're, you're showing me that mankind's going to be enslaved. And he said, you've been correct. You said you can't understand why there isn't an uprising. You cannot understand why humanity hasn't fought, rather, you know, and and succumbed to to their whims. And I thought, there's hope. Wait a minute. There's my there's my P, my little P of hope. There it is. And um I just don't want to make it long and drawn out. Oh, okay. So I'm going to have to do this quick. Um, uh, so the understanding that I took from, from that uh, was that we cannot allow ourselves. Um, it doesn't matter whether they're earthly aliens. We're talking, you know, humans that, you, you know, don't have a, a legal citizenship or, or residence um, of any sort, whether they're of this earth, uh, deep earth, um, in the heavens, 
from another universe, not just another planet, that we we need to understand. And it and it happens because we don't know who we are. And what I mean by that, because you can say, yeah, I know, I'm Joe Blow, yada, 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 or I'm, you know, Lucy, uh, you, you know, Tootsie. <laughs> we'll go with Tootsie. Dustin Hoffman. Um, we really need to put our get our heads around the fact that we are spiritual beings experiencing in a physical body rather than a physical body experiencing spiritualism god heaven angels the heavenly the heavenly you know our heavenly body we have to remember that we are our heavenly body and this okay we borrowed so we can because this is a gift they don't have any right to be messing like that okay and and this here um um is our gift so we can you know check out one of my videos it's a purpose on life and i literally talk about this and and explain what what life is really all about because some people even you know lose so much hope they lose you know they can't find their purpose of living going what's the point you know check out some of the videos because i really get into this it's really important you're important to me whether i know you or not you know i you're my equal i know this so they trust me with this and i say they the heavens trust me with this and so i am sharing this we have to you know and we have don't have much time by you know by and by we really do have to get our heads around um um the fact that we need to really you, you know in it throw ourselves into um um a science where you can learn spirituality or spirituality that you can relate science to in other words um i get that people always need that proof so you want to find that experience that is physically tangible for you but yet you know that it's tangible for you because it is created by you once you leave this temple this body you know you are yourself you go back home you know and you, you know I, I mean I still have to make some videos about you know I think maybe I could have or I might have made some videos about the fact that this is not a prison planet and this you know constant reincarnation after reincarnation you know isn't exactly like that that was something that we created in the process or I should say Lucy uh, and his crew um, uh, were the first to uh, create that by, you know, throwing a, a wrench in creation and going, yeah, okay, now you figure it out. So, okay, so um, I did ask at that point, what if mankind doesn't connect spiritually you know what if they go hey listen i'm fighting for this physical body because i chose to be here in the here and the now and i'll be dinged and i'll be darned if i'm gonna let some you know whatever come here and rule my butt netta 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 okay so at all costs it cannot be allowed so i said what happens to the people that don't get there that at all cost whether they want to believe in god or not you know they at all cost will not embrace the fact that when you die it's not it it just doesn't stop there you don't stop there you continue so the sooner you get yourself around it even if you can't get this i was shown okay now here comes number two <laughs> so who comes in second number two is the one that ultimately releases everybody everybody's released so 
I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't call the second coming alien. <laughs> okay. So that was one experience. It came in threes. After that, um, I've had obviously vision after vision after vision after vision after vision. And I will share all of those. But I wanted to share this because this is the beginning of a sequel of videos that I'm going to make to follow through with this one. It is extremely important. Uh, time is eminent and um, uh, time is of essence in the sense of if we don't, if we don't find a handle okay if we don't find a handle we're really gonna miss on being empowered feeling empowered recognizing how much you really rock how cool you really are um, um, how advanced you are, how, you know, we have the gift of consciousness and uh, that in itself, the ability to love. And man, oh man, oh man, if that's not a weapon in itself, you know, so for that reason, uh, we should fight, we should stand up. And when, you know, the time comes and it does come, uh, we need to be able to go, you know what, I'm uh, I'm going to fight you right through and through. This is my body. I don't care if it's just for here and for now. It's all the more reason. This is my space. So remember how much you rock. Remember how great you are. Remember, you know, how important you are. And most of all, remember how much you're loved. Because I'll tell you something. Just when you think that nobody even remembers you, let alone loves you, Man, you know what? They do. They really do. I think it is so freaking cool. So, um, this is the beginning, like I said, of a couple of different videos that pertain to Nibiru. I have a lot of people asking me um, if this is going to be the end of the world, the end of us. And the answer is uh, no. No, not this way okay I bid you an adieu um, I hope like um, share um, don't change the style and uh, I'll be back soon okay hasta la vista baby ciao